Oh my god, that loading screen took forever. Yes. Anyway, g'day everyone, it's Teenik back here again in Transport Fever. Uh, if you recall, in the last part, we stopped going out of screen. I'm trying to talk about you. We set this fella up. I think it's this fella. Nope, no, we, that, that's an existing fella. Never mind. Uh, carry on, business as usual. We set up something to do with Nashville and an oil well, and ooh, now we're in the red. No, yeah, we would pay that loan off really quickly. Yeah, good call, Trent. Yeah, anyway, as I was saying, we set this, this new line up to Nashville up. We set up this line to Nashville up. Me fail English? That's impossible. Uh, yeah, so today I want to crack on with extending this line down to Minneapolis, San Bernardino, and we're having a bit of lag here. I'm assuming it's because we're in the red. Oh, look at all the, the stuff up there. I'll, I'll turn off... Uh, all those little red numbers that are going to pop up in approximately 10 days. Uh, yeah, so we've got, uh, we've got a lot of freight waiting, but that's good. So yeah, Nashville, Minneapolis, San Bernardino, Tucson, Orange, and Boston. I want to connect them all up and damn the expense. Seriously, damn the expense. We, we don't have any money at the moment. Uh, that'll also op op bleh, open up access. Yeah, you try saying that 10 times fast, hmm? Yeah, smug viewers. Uh, access to a couple of forests here. Forests in a desert, confusing, considering they're not near sort of native forests, but whatever. And uh, we'll also access Ventura with a, a line up to Minneapolis, probably. I'm not really sure. But I know I want to connect up Ventura to uh, to this part of the network anyway. Hey, look, that while I was yakking, we ended up back in the green. Quick, pay the loan down. And back in the red again. So, yeah, I'm just going to sort of chill out now that I've done my introduction and get a bit of money. And then we will get building. Hooray! Yay, building. Hey, look, there's a farm there. There's a food... Pr no, don't get distracted. Just make some money. Commence building. I will see you in a tick. So the calendar's ticked over to 1882. Happy New Year, everyone. And we've got a decent uh, 1.8 million sitting in the bank. Obviously, that will go down at the end of the month as we take all of the running costs, real estate, etc. out. But we did manage to pay the loan down before the end of the year. So for four years in a row, at least we haven't paid any loan interest, which makes me very happy. There we go. We've dropped down about a million. That's not too bad. Uh, so first things first, we will be extending this Nashville line down the hill to a mini. Minneapolis. Uh, we will then extend the line from Minneapolis, which will be uphill a bit into San Bernardino, and then we'll start getting complicated. Uh, so first thing we're going to need is a station over here in Minneapolis. Now I'm thinking over here just to keep it reasonably straight shot from Nashville, uh, and then of course we can have the line come around and back up the hill over to Ventura. Uh, what are we looking at in terms of distribution of stuff. So we're going we're gonna to get a lot of residential if we build it here, which which suits me fine. And then we'll have obviously a, a bus or a tram network, some, some way to get people to the station. But I think that'll go all right, actually. If we, uh, can we join these roads up here without looking completely unattractive? Not really. No, that's not really, no, okay. No, that's not a, no, did, yep, yep, oh, no, 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 it's not, not really straight. That's straight. That's okay. I'm, I'm okay with that. We'll sort of bodgy that up, but too much curvature. There's never too much curvature. There is that ugly bump though. Let's just uh, no, we can't. No, we can't do anything about that. Okay, good work, team. Uh, the adventures of Teenix Engineering continue. There's still an ugly bump there, but it's not as bad. We can live with it. Uh, so we want a nice, fancy, a flexible station to go in here, please. Uh, yeah, we want to shrink that road for starters back down to 10. Uh, is that gonna, it's gonna construction not possible me. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know what that, what that is indicating to me. I mean, I know it's indicating that construction is not possible. That in itself, we know. But why is it not possible? What, what is wrong with connecting up to this intersection? Is it because it's too, too far down there? Okay, so it likes it if it's over there. Uh, let's whack a bit of a curve in. That's sort of what we wanted. We can whack in a significant curve if we really want to, but we'll probably stick about there. Uh, let's make it, uh, what, you were joining up just fine before. Why are you not, why do you hate me so much? Okay, so now you want to be over this side, that's fine. Uh, so that's not too bad, that little curve there. We do want to make it, uh, what, three tracks to start with? Because we'll have the two from, uh, let's make it four just to, just to be sure. Four to be sure, sure to be four. Uh, let's just rotate. No, that's too much. Too much rotation. It, it broke it. Broke it. Broke it. Broke it. Broke it. Uh, that should be good like that. Do we only go four to start with? Eh, 
Yeah, future proof. Minneapolis, big town, future proof. It's only 200 grand <laughs> only. Uh, I should download that. There's another station mod you can get where you can actually have the platforms curving in different directions, which would make it easier for the junction there. And it occurred to me I forgot to put another street connection in. It's not going to let me. Okay, we're just going to have to demolish it and start again. Because, you know, that 200 grand, I, I didn't need to spend it. And I did anyway. Let's try the straight option. That might be easy to get the second street connection in. Uh, what do we want? Left? Yeah? Yeah? You, you're happy with that? You don't mind that? You're going to gonna gonna work there? Yeah? That's good. That just gives us a bit more catchment of, of this part of the town as it starts to expand. Uh, yeah, taking the curve out probably didn't matter because it was at this end, not this end. But what are you going to do? Life goes on. And let's just fix up the uh, evidence of our past indiscretions. Indiscretion? God, it sounds like I've just had an affair. Uh, we should probably build some track over to Nashville as well. That would be that would be useful. It would be a, a thing that people people would like to see. Uh, that's a bit of a hill there. Yeah? If we are we able to? No, we're sort of we're going to go uphill eventually. So what if we drag it over to? Is that gonna? What if we drag it all the way? No, that's not really going to work. Okay. What if we bring it? I sort of want to keep it without dropping down. What if we keep it perfectly flat? Oh, here we go. I mean, yes, it requires a bit of a bit of landscape when you've got this bit of an embankment thing here, but it just saves going up to go down. No, let's do, let's just build the track from from Nashville. I zoomed out way more than I needed to there. That was a little embarrassing, and we'll just see see how it wants to get about it. So it wants to go down slightly. We can we can accommodate this. Uh, we'll set a set a set of points there. Set a set of points there. I am doing good with the talking tonight. And what? Whoa! Hello, sailor. What is going on here? Oh, there's some sort of thing in the way, is there? Uh, what if we build you around, sort of like that? You take a bit of a chunk out of the hill, but you keep the line reasonably flat, which is the name of the game. Well, the name of the game is Transport Fever, but you already knew that. Uh, that's actually a reasonably good level crossing. I'm surprised. Just, I mean, the AI in this game is very good, but level crossings is not its strong suit. Uh, let's bring this around here, and then hopefully we can get it to form a reasonable... That's not too bad of a hill, I guess. It's not too much too much landscape involved there. That's all right there. And we'll just run this, uh, run this track down here uh, like that. Good. Uh, now, before we continue building, we will extend the current passenger line down there to open up Minneapolis. And given that it's called the Minneapolis line, sort of think we should probably get about doing that now i want to go through platform two don't i no i don't i want to stay in platform one i'm pretty sure i figured that out last time i just made all the people walk back and forth for no reason uh you can come into platform whatever and come back through platform no you, you you've got your you've got a whole separate platform here what is your issue go through two this time there you go yeah see all these poor people they just ran over to this platform and now they're running back again including sit that's not how you use stairs sir Sir, come back. I'll send in the clones. Let's. You're doing stairs wrong. First of all, you can't just walk over the. Oh, it's like something poltergeist or whatever there. That's awful, guys. Just no. Uh, let's put in a couple of one-way signals just to make sure our train gets the message that it should, given that I'm told it what platform to go into already. Now let's just bodgy that down there. Did we have a train coming down the hill, or was that uh, was that the oil train? That was probably the... No, where are you going? Weren't you going to Nashville? No, obviously not. Good luck to you. You're doing whatever you have to do. And this, this railway line also opens up access to that forestry, which is nice. Oh, look at that. Three million in the bank. Things are, things are going well, which is good because we are going to buy a second train for this route as well. And, of course, they're now going to bunch up because they're both heading in the same direction. Uh, when I started the game, we also had the Class 89 Prussian tank engine introduced. Completely useless to it. Completely useless to us, rather, at this stage of the game, but just wanted to highlight it for full disclosure. Uh, so you go on the Minneapolis Line 2, please. Train 26 and obligatory departure shot. We might actually get a parallel run here. Let's have a look. No, slow down, freight train. You, you're getting... Oh, well. Oh, no, here we go. Now that's what it's all about right there. Oh, oh, here comes another train. 
I'm just going to spend the whole episode watching my trains go back and forth one of these days, and you people will be very bored and skip to the end of it. And I couldn't blame you, but I'm just, I'm in a happy place right now. I love a good junction where there's lots of trains going every which way. Okay, that other train's going really slow. We've, we've seen enough. There it is. Hello. Okay, now we move on. And that other train's still waiting out there because someone's coming down to the platform. Uh, we should probably double track this line to the platform at some point too. But no, we are we are continuing with our mission, our stated goal. Uh, so we're going to need to have a bit of a junction in here for trains uh, coming from Ventura to Minneapolis to join up to go to San Bernardino. Uh, now, do we want to have parallel platforms here? As in, both these tracks here are going this way and both these tracks are going this way. Oh, we'll, no, we'll just have a merge after the fact. We'll, we'll keep them separate. That, it'll probably be neater to do it that way. So we'll have uh, we'll have this track come out like that. That's pretty pretty simple stuff. And then we'll just bring this fella down here. Once that's 60 k's now, that's not too bad. And what's that one? That's 60 k's now as well. Don't know what I really expected there. And that should be uh, should be quite a simple little junction there. Just chuck a couple of one-way signals in ahead of time. And we'll bosh one in like that. Good. So eventually we will have a line going down to Ventura as well. But that is beyond the purview of our immediate attention. Uh, so next thing we need to do is connect up. Actually, we need to connect this town up with some buses because, well, no one's really going to walk to this station, are they? Because people are lazy sods. Uh, let's go with something a bit different. Not cargo. Let's go with trams. If I can remember how to build trams, I will. Here we go. Electric trams, please. Upgrade. Well, that's pointless because we don't have any tram stops. Uh, so first of all, let's get we'll get a we'll get a bit of a city circle thing going here as well, and we'll have it going in both directions because this is actually a fairly sizable little town. Uh, so we'll throw a stop down there that sort of covers a, a big chunk of it. Uh, I'll chuck a stop down there that covers another big chunk of it. Uh, one down here that covers you guessed it a big chunk of it, and we'll probably drop one in here to cover. Don't, don't say it. A big chunk of it. Hey, you. Uh, now, we want to build tram track. How was I doing that? I was doing this. Uh, we'll have the trams come down here, down here. Whoa, what the? Oh, I clicked the wrong thing. Can we make them large streets? No. Okay. We can make that a large street. Make that a large street. That's not going to demolish anything, is it? Oh, I like the idea of the large street because it... Well, it'll hopefully allow our trams to avoid getting caught up in the rigmarole of daily traffic. Could you, you... You would give me the tick. Oh, Jesus. Nine buildings will be removed. Won't be doing that down there. Let's, oh, look at this bump here. That's fun. I don't know if it's actually making these bits a large street or it's just humouring me because this is definitely wider than that bit. But, yeah, see, now it's gone narrow again. But, you know, we're, we're pretending. We, we're playing pretend. Uh, we'll connect that up just in case. And that's, uh, that's medium street or whatever it wants to be called. Uh, we'll need some sort of tram depot for the building of trams. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's just throw, oh, that's, a, that's an awful lot of landscaping there, Tinek. Uh, we, can we bosh it in there for 18 grand? No, that's quite, that's quite reasonable. And ooh, look at this nice little, ooh, Minneapolis on a nice little hill looking down at the station. Uh, hopefully that doesn't mean when it rains all the flood water rushes down to the station as well. Yeah, that, that'd be bad. Uh, so we'll set up a couple of city circles in Minneapolis. We'll have one going this way. Is that going to figure itself out? Uh, trams are going to get a horrible shock if they try and go off-road. Uh, what's that? That's clockwise. How do you spell Minneapolis, by the way? Let's just close that and see if we can get the town. we got the town name to pop up, thank God. M-I-N-N-E-A Polis City Circle Clockwise. <laughs> Trained professional. Uh, so we'll put that one aside and we'll do that again in the other direction. Do, 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 You're going to get a rude shock if you try and go down there. And maples. Yep, that's good. Okay, and we'll call that. We'll get rid of this cursory thingy. And we'll call that Minneapolis City Circle Anti Clockwise. Boom. Uh, now, let's have a look at trams. What trams do we have? Well, that's a fancy noise. What trams do we have available? We have horse tram. Slightly different kind of horse tram. Horse trolley car or steam tram. Didn't I build electric wires? So we've invented 
trolley wires, but no trolley pole for the tram. So capacity of seven, capacity of six, capacity of five, capacity of five. Let's go steam trams from Vienna as the, it was used in Vienna as the damp Ufter tramway. I don't know why it was damp. Just, did they not put a roof on it? What about you? The first trams in history were horse driven. Yes, and they're predated by these guys. Thanks to the rail, only one horse was needed. Oh, I see. Do we even have rail? Oh, we do have rail. There we go. It's over there. Sorry, I couldn't see it. Let's go with the steam tram. Let's build um, four. Two, three, four. And we'll put all of them on anti-clockwise. And one, two, three, four. On clockwise. Bet you didn't see that coming. Get rid of all the windows and admire the departure. Not seeing a lot of steam. I am seeing a lot of wires, though. Are you going to make any train noises like doot doot or chugga chugga? No, you're just going to naff off. Okay, well that's really boring. But yes, we have a city circle thing going in Minneapolis, which is good because it'll bring people to the station and someone's found their way to the station. Well, nine people have found their way to the station on their own. So, probably didn't need to do that. But gosh darn, what a nice looking town. But yes, we're building track over to San Bernardino. And what am I thinking? You are thinking. You're thinking, what am I thinking? And I'm thinking, what are you thinking? That I'm thinking, never mind. What I want to do is I want to have sort of a, a little circle going on. So trains come into San Bernardino, up to Tucson, down to Boston, and then back around to San Bernardino, uh, and then on back to Minneapolis. I also sort of want to do the same thing from Orange, have have the eastern suburbs line do a bit of a loop around there as well, uh, just to really make San Bernardino a, a really centralised sort of town, uh, and of course make Tucson a, a more important junction. So I have no idea how that's going to work, I just know that I want to do it, and I want it to look cool. Because isn't that why we do anything in this game? To make things look cool. Where are we going to put this station, by the way? Uh, Contour-wise, it's a pretty flat town. Now we've got the industrial area over here, we've got a good chunk of residential up here. A uh, bit of residential down here, and we've got obviously the uh, commercial in the city centre. Uh, I'm thinking of putting the station here, we might actually skip San Bernardino on the outward run, because otherwise we'd have to go whoopity whoopity whoop. Uh, so we might end up having a junction sort of down here. In fact, I wonder if we couldn't have it come through orange, and then, nah, it's too, too out of the way. Uh, we'll head for San Bernardino, San Bernardino first. We can, we could have the direct line to Boston go through this cutting here, actually. That might be a goer. And then just sort of swing around through Boston that way. Yeah, we've, we've got options, that's the main thing. But I'm thinking the station can go about here. Then maybe we can come back through this way. We'll, we'll figure out a way. We'll, fi we'll figure out, things will be cool. It, it's going to be fine. It's, uh, I don't want to build tram track anymore. Tram track is uh, so last century. Well, this century, but it'll be, you know, it was the last thing we built. We don't need to build it anymore. Uh, now you can go like that to make it straight. Get rid of that and just, if you could sort of keep roading in that direction, that'd be great. So that way, if we build a station here, we can make sure to catch as much of the town as possible. Now, how many platforms are we going to need? And do we need a second street connection? I mean, I like the second street connection. Do we actually need it? Uh, so what are we going to have? We're going to have... We're going to have two tracks coming in from Minneapolis to go to Tucson. Well, actually, that's only one direction. One direction coming from Tucson. So we probably need to have, what, four tracks, I guess, because it's going to be a junction. And if it's not, we can just downsize and pretend that nothing ever happened. Uh, so actually, can we get a second street connection at the other end? We can, and it will connect. <laughs> Look at that. And it doesn't connect to any part of the town over there, though. So, you know. That was a nice idea. Uh, we may need to make that street a bit longer. 20 meters. No, you're just going to protest. Here we go. And we've sort of caught... No, I don't know if we're actually catching both streets or if we're sort of... Yeah, no, we might just hedge our bets and put them at one end, I think. I, I, don't, uh, I don't know about this second street connection business being that beneficial. Rather put it at the end of this street and sort of catch most of the street if I can. Yeah, you be, you, how are we going to do with this hill? Well, I think we're going to do okay. Can we can we sort of twist it a bit? Yeah, we might have to get rid of this road here. It was a nice idea, but it's now gone. 
Uh, there we go. We have a really wildly over enthusiastic, over enthusiastic, over uh, what's the word? Extended? No. Um, over optimistic. It's an overly optimistic station. It's a very cheerful station that thinks, you know, I'm going to do great things. And gosh, I hope it does. Where are we building to? Minneapolis. I'm looking at Rockford and going, I don't want to go there. No, I don't. So we're going to have to go down a significant hill, or if we build from Minneapolis, up a significant hill. Either way, there's going to be significant hill involved. And the other track, uh, we will need to swing down. Oh, God, that's going to be an absolute nightmare. Uh, maybe we won't be able to get to Orange and those other two tracks will just forever sit forlornly unused. Yeah, that's a that's a thing that we're going we're gonna to have to deal with. Uh, now, if we build the track out like this... Uh, let's just spitball it. Ooh, fancy. Also expensive. And probably completely pointless. Yeah, so I was hoping we could uh, we could sort of get over this road without a world-defying, world-defying, world-ending viaduct. I don't know if it'll end the world. Do some damage. Uh, so we might have to bugger off the road. Yeah, I know the main connection has been terminated or truncated or whatever you want to call it. Uh, what if we keep this on the level? Okay, that's good. That's good, that's good, that's good. Uh, what if we rebuild the road, but we put it in a dip like we did at that other town that we did that thing. So we've carved a bit of the mountain out to build the road, and it's just going to give me some... Oh, hang on, we had it for a second there. Which, which, no, we had it. It was... Oh, here we go. We got a thing. Uh, that's probably a big amount of bridge over there that we don't need, but... I, I'm sort of gonna gonna deal with it, I think. Oh, we can sort of drag it down here. I don't hate that. I don't hate that at all. It, it fulfills the mission. I mean, it, can we... We can't lower it, okay. It, it, it's a bit of a hump and a lot of landscaping. It's about 230 grand, but I don't hate it. Uh, we'll make it a slightly more modern bridge with the brick supports. Wow, that is a good bridge. It is just... I mean, that support's doing its job, but this one over here is like, hey, man, you got this on your own. You don't need me. That is that is impressive. Physics. Here we go. That's a, that's a useful bridge, but it's one we've built many times before. What about this one? Also a useful bridge. Very narrow. Hope no one has to get out of the train. But I like it. I like the viaduct. It uh, looks nice. And what else have we got? We've got the, ooh, the girder. Oh, who doesn't like a good girder? Or this novelty green number. No, it's a bit modern. Let's just go with that one. I've... I've I like that one. I've committed to that one. It's definitely a thing I've done. Uh, do we want to double track this? Yeah, probably not. It's probably an expense we don't need at this stage. I will prepare for double tracking uh, by double tracking on either side so I don't make that mistake I'm so fond of making where I put the track on the wrong side. Yeah, we all know I've done it before. Now, we got to get down this hill. No, not up. Up is bad. We want to go down. Down is good. Can we, can we force it? Oh, there we go. That's a bit better. Right, that forces it to stay dead flat. And it carves a little bit out of the mountain, which is good. Uh, now, if we want... Yeah, we want you to start going down. Not too steep, please. And we sort of want to hug the uh, hug the mountainside as much as possible, like a comforting blanket in the wintertime. Speaking of wintertime, it is really warm at the moment, and it is allegedly winter. I, I'm still waiting for some proof on that. But it is, it is definitely warm. I'm wearing a T-shirt. And the doors are all open. Doors, windows, everything open. It's, a, it's like spring here. It is ridiculous. What the hell? Did that. That also looks good. Okay, we've got a bit of a curve here, but we're, we're trending down the hill, which is good because we're, well, we're running out of hill. Well, more, more likely we're running out of room because Minneapolis is just there. So, continue on down the hill. I think we might get away with this. Uh, what if we just try and connect you up straight away? Oh. I mean, there's a little bit of a, a gouge here, but it's no worse than what I've already built. So, boom, make it happen. Ha oh, ha ha. Hello. And we'll, we'll have to connect that up, obviously. There we go. That looks good. So, we now have a line going up to San Bernardino with a bit of a kink to get around this hill. Uh, when we get a bit more money, I'll probably just tunnel straight through there and just straight rail it. But, ooh, wow, we're nearly six million in the bank, too. We're doing all right for ourselves. Uh, but, yeah, so let's connect San Bernardino up with the train we already have going. The Minneapolis line, that's it. Uh, where, oh, hello, look, they're, they're meeting. Hello. Hello, I'm original train. Who are you? Oh, I'm new train. I don't know which one's which. You, you'll just have to figure it out for yourself. 
This is going to be a very low capacity line until I put some more double tracking in, isn't it? How are you going? You're carrying one person. One whole person. How many do you bring? Well, you brought a few people in from Minneapolis. That's good. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so we want to extend your line again. Uh, after Minneapolis, we want you to continue up to San Bernardino. Are you gonna Are you gonna complain? Which platform? You're you actually going through the right platform both ways. Good for you. Look at that. Everything's everything's coming out Millhouse today. Worked first go. Oh, and we've got access to the compartment car, which is very European and not something I want to use. So, be gone. But that's really good. Okay, and. Let's just take pity on the people of San Bernardino who think, oh, yeah, go to Boston for some shopping. They get to catch a train all the way to Rockford and then change, catch a train all the way to Boston. Personally, I just do my shopping at Minneapolis, but, you know, whatever. Uh, so we need to now continue this line up and around this mountainside here into Tucson. And to give us a bit of a goal where we'd like to arrive, we're going to extend this poor station to six tracks. One building will be removed. Hmm, maybe we won't extend it to six tracks. Also, it's complaining about this track here. Five tracks? Okay, it, it's okay with five tracks. It won't complain about that, although it will disconnect all the platforms anyway, and it still wants to demolish that building. Uh, so I'm not really sure if that's a good thing. I'm, I'm trying to think. Because uh, what will we... Well, that'll be an in-track there coming in here. So it avoids too much argy-bargy. And then we'll just have the out-track crossover. Ah, let's just go six. Let's go whole hog. Uh, we will have to pause the game. And demolish this track here. Which is okay, because I want to rejig this junction anyway. Apparently. Demolish that. Uh, six tracks, one building demolished. How much is that going to cost me? 1.2 million. Yeah, make it happen. Boom. Look at that. That's awesome. That is, uh, that is part of the grand plan to eventually have quad tracks, or even six tracks, whatever that means, sex tuple, <laughs> sex, uh, into Boston from Tucson. But yeah, we've got, to, we've got to fix this junction up because curved platforms tend to disconnect. I mean, the, the straight platforms don't because that's how the game was designed. But, you know, it's one of those little sacrifices we make to have, have curved platforms. In the, You're not going to connect up, are you? You're going to be a jerk. Oh, you're not. No, you're okay. No, take it back. I take the jerkiness back. I nearly said I take the jerking back, but that would have been weird. Uh, that would have been weird and rude. Uh, now, do we connect you up? Uh, is that going to be a reasonable curve? Uh, that's not too bad. Uh, obviously, we will streamline this when we go to, uh, you know, quad track into Boston. For now, we don't have the trains running, uh, so we're going to stick with, uh, you know, with... Oh, that looks really nice, doesn't it? Ho 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 fancy! Uh, except for the bits of land that stick up here. I don't, we can't get rid of those, can we? Uh, okay, well, I hope I can do that again, because I'm making that go away. There we go. Oh god, I made a mess, didn't I? Ugh. Uh, everyone remember where you went, because I've completely forgotten. Yeah, that doesn't work. Uh, well, you can... You will connect up! Oh, good. Uh, did you go there? It looks like it went there. And you went somewhere over here, didn't you? Uh, that'll do. Yay! Everything's back to normal. I fixed it. I mean, I, I was the one that broke it to begin with, but I fixed it. Uh, so you're a one wire. I'd like you to be a one wire, and you're a one wire. Uh, I'd better make that actually happen instead of just talking about it. This game is advanced, but not advanced enough to have, you know, voice recognition instructions. Maybe one day. Uh, I will say, build me a train, and it will build a train, and I'll be happy. Uh, it'll probably build the wrong train, so maybe not. But yeah, so there we go. We've got platforms to work from. Uh, it occurs to me I'm probably going to want to use the same bloody tunnel, so building those platforms was a complete waste of money. Yeah. Future-proofing and stuff. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to put a second track through this tunnel here. Because if we're going to tunnel through, we're going to need... Yeah, we're going to put the junction on this side, I guess, or... Maybe we just go up and over the hill. Maybe that's why we built a second. Well, I've built a second tunnel now anyway, so we'll just we'll just attach that and continue with everything as we were. Yeah, we don't need this track here, do we? Oh, no, we've broken something. Oh, no, it's just the passenger line that I broke before. That's okay. That's okay. Run you down here. Yeah, yeah. Connect you up. No, connect you. Just oh, bulldoze. Uh, what's the worst thing that can happen? We've already broken it. Connect that up. Passenger line happy. Uh, this this 
John, John, join. This junction here wasn't actually used anymore, but we'll connect it up. Can we connect it up more attractively? No, let's just demolish it. We've got depots. We, we don't really need through access down here anymore, so that's fine. Uh, do we, do we want to have the junction here for San Bernardino? I'm torn. I sort of want to go up and over the top to avoid having to bugger up this road any more than I already have. Uh, but I, I'm also wary about the, the sort of the climb. Uh, what sort of what sort of height are we talking to, to get up there? Oh, you want to put your own tunnel in like that, do you? I don't actually mind that. Yeah, we can have. Uh, it does seem like a waste of money though. What if we just want to go up the hill? Uh, it's arguably a lot cheaper, but it's also arguably very ugly. What about? No, you do want to put a tunnel in there, okay? And if we use the existing tunnel, we've got quite a sharp corner around like that. Now we'll build a new tunnel. And we'll have it come out about there, I guess. Is that going to be what contour? Yeah, that should be fine. Let's just uh, let's just wing it. Why not? We've got the cash, and we'll take it off pause so that we actually make more cash while I'm pissing it away on on pointless tunnels. Why did I build two tracks for this line? I don't. Oh, well, future proofing. Yeah, and we've got some more ugly land. I want to. I can't smush. Okay, pause again. Just we'll we'll put the track back eventually. I promise. Just get rid of that, and then we'll just sort of... No, I don't want to raise it. God, no. That's the opposite of what I want to do. And we'll just get rid of that bump there, because it's quite ugly. There we go. And just rejoin that up. And yeah, I know you're flashing, because I've disconnected this again. No, no, no. There we go. Okay, that's not great, but it's better than it was, I guess. Ooh. Flatten, flatten, flatten. Flatten, flatten, flatten. Flattening for all. Uh, good. Uh, do we need to put a few signals down on this track we've just done things to? Probably. Let's put one there. Uh, let's put a couple down near the tunnel because reasons and a couple on the other side of the tunnel because see aforementioned reasons. It, yes, okay, because we've, we've double tracked a section that was formerly single track. Uh, so we'll put a corresponding signal in there, take you off one way. Oh, good thing we didn't demolish that signal because it's actually a waypoint signal. Uh, we probably don't need to have the, the line use that as a waypoint though anymore because now it's double track it will by default it won't try and go through the uh, sawmill siding because well a it can't and b it now has a you know, track each way so it's fine uh, yeah so we've got we've got our double track coming out here and we want to send that fling it over to sort of San Bernardino with a bit of a bit of a curve uh, so we'll, we'll backtrack a smidge and we'll come out Come out something like that. There we go. That's that's good. That's not perfect. That's good. And we'll probably need to. Let's. Let's. Are we taking a chunk out of the hill, or is the hill taking a chunk out of us? Uh, we're taking a chunk out of the hill, and we'll just set the points in there. We don't. We don't need double track initially. We'll wait for it to start sort of paying for itself. Where did I build the station over there? Good. Let's go in that direction, please. Uh, station ho. Now is that going to be a dip or is that a bridge? A dip or a bridge? No, it's a, it's a bump. We want to go through the bump with a nice little cutting, and I think the other track was on this side, so we want to come around like that into there. Oh, that's a bit of a curve, isn't it? That's a notable curve. Now it's 85. I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, we'll just build that out there in case the town tries to swallow our track up, and we'll put a nice set of. What are you trying to do there? Put a nice set of points in there, please. So now that should be the Minneapolis line connected all the way up through San Bernardino and Tucson around to Boston. I don't think we have the platform space at Boston to accommodate yet. No, we'll have to extend Boston and we'll do that by getting rid of this freight line here. Boom, boom, boom. Because it's not like we're using it anymore. <laughs> it costs money to demolish, so I'm just going to leave the rest of it there and forget about it. Uh, but yeah, the theory is we will then come down through Tucson, down through Boston, and then we're going to sort of shoot back up here to San Bernardino this way. Is that what I built the extra platforms for? I don't actually remember. I built extra platforms at San Bernardino. The, the other problem is we're going to get across this line, but we can probably probably put a bridge in somewhere around here. Is that why I put the extra platforms in? I know I want to, I want to do a circle. I, um, yeah. Okay. Well, we've, we've got the theory in place. Uh, but first we want to extend the line up to Tucson and we'll have it turn around at Tucson in the short term. So we'll just put a temporary set of points in like that. 
Is that? That's, that's, that looks all right. Uh, chuck a one-way signal down there, please. And we'll chuck a couple of signals in up near the tunnel. Uh, and on this nice little curve here, which is really quite an abrupt corner. And we'll drop in one there, please. Thank you. Thank you. Good. And we will once again extend the Minneapolis line. Uh, this time, it will go from San Bernardino up to Tucson. Good God, where, what, what the bloody hell are you trying to do? Uh, could you maybe go through... You don't want to go through number five. What about number six? You don't want to go through number six. Okay, well, clearly I've buggered something up there. Oh, because I'm trying to go from Minneapolis. I'm trying to go from... How have I broken something that I haven't broken? No, we'll, we'll fix it in a minute. It'll be fine. Uh, so you extend to Tucson. And then come back through San Bernardino. Yeah. No. That's not right. Uh, try platform two. Yeah, that's fine. And then you go down to Minneapolis. What are you... What's complaining? Train 22 is complaining... What is wrong with train 22? No path. Oh, because you're trying to go the wrong way. There we go. Turning you around was the right idea. Good. Okay, so, how's that going to work? That comes into Tucson. Yes, it can turn around on that back platform there. So that'll do as a temporary thing while I, while I build the line to Boston, uh, connecting up this, this path here. Without, without getting in the way of the freight trains, that might be a bit of a challenge, because we're going to join up here. And then, oh no, we can sort of we can sort of shoot across there, I guess. Uh, probably probably using some sort of bridge, possibly a bridge. Uh, let's just spitball that for for now. See what that's going to cost me if I wanted to do that. Wow. Okay, so that's a million bucks, but it looks cool. Also a million bucks. Uh, what if we what if we bring back our expectations slightly? We can't really. Okay. Well, we can do that too. That's really no. That's not what I want. No, that's awful. Uh, mm, it, mm, yeah, mm, mm, okay, we may have to uh, rethink this this whole cattle and food situation we've got going on here because that's going to get in the way quite significantly of our, our circle route from Boston over to San Bernardino because I'm quite happy with coming in here and joining this line here. Uh, joining, joining around the back here where, where the freight line was joining to begin with. But we do need to sort of spear across this valley here, and I was hoping to do it without a giant bridge. Uh, what if we do... Okay, so we do that. Why would you think that is acceptable? That's acceptable, but you don't want to do it. Okay. I can, I can sort of understand why. What if we, what if we just did that? That's, that's 3.7 million, and... Well, it's impressive. People will come from miles around to see the bridge to nowhere. But I kind of don't want to empty the bank and take a loan out for that. Yes, okay. Uh, our other option was to sort of come through this pass here. Uh, will that give us... Oh, it's all fairly flat here, isn't it? Because it's going to sort of try and build up around... Oh, we're going to get past this freight line too. Oh, it seemed a lot easier in my head. Uh, I don't want to give up on the circle idea though. What else could we do? We could always come through orange and make it a bigger circle. But then, no, we've got to get from Orange to Minneapolis. No, we have to get back to San Bernardino. How are we going to do that? How, 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 how? We definitely have to go through Boston. So we're coming down here. That track's all in place. We're just going to put the platforms in. We then need to figure out a way to get across the freight lines. Or bugger off the freight lines altogether and come up with an alternate solution for that. I mean, we could, it'll be less direct, but we could always bring the freight line down here and just connect it up to the main line like that. That would get it out of the way, but it would also make it less profitable, which is not something I want to engage in. And now I like the idea of getting a bridge across here somehow. See, it, it likes it, it likes the idea of it. It just doesn't like the execution until you come sort of over here. Uh, what if we go up, 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 up? No, okay, it doesn't like that. What if we try to go across here? Up, 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 up. No, okay, it doesn't like that either. What if we try and do that? Oh, wow, that's definitely a thing. Uh, what if we do that? No, it still wants the level crossing. See, it'll do that, but that's a complete waste of time because we're bridging across this. Just, okay. Yeah. This is definitely a thing that we need to think about. How are we going to do it? There's got to be a way. And I don't want to get rid of this line because this, this line's been very good to us. It's been, it's been looking after us. At least we've now got a way for people to get to San Bernardino, you know, without having to go via bloody Rockford. They can go via Tucson. Is anyone actually taking me up on that? No. Okay. Well, 
eventually people will figure out there's a whole new world over here and they will start using it. <sighs> okay. Maybe instead we'll build a line from Ventura to Minneapolis so we can feel good about ourselves. Yeah? Then we can we can get a false sense of achievement, maybe? Maybe we just have to give up on the whole circle idea altogether, because that is quite a significant valley there. Maybe we just have the line run through San Bernardino and up to Tucson and these two platforms just languish there until the end of time. That might be another option that we have to take. Which is a shame after our nice little victory here with the road doing what we wanted it to. I really wanted everything to work out nicely. Yeah, look, leave that one with me. We'll put that on the back burner for now, which is really disappointing because I really wanted to finish this route today and, and really have the full circle in place. Uh, I might might actually have to look at taking a new food processing plant under our wing. Uh, actually taking the cattle up this way somewhere. Yeah, I'll, I'll have a bit of a think about it off camera. Uh, certainly we've got a good good food connection going here that, that will remain uninterrupted if I do get rid of the Tucson uh, food route there. But uh, yeah, no, to finish up today, I think what we'll do is we'll just connect Ventura up with a little branch to Minneapolis. Uh, eventually, I want to have the line from Ventura to Minneapolis basically go the opposite way around the circle that the uh, the Rockville, Rockford and Nashville line would. So that way we've got complementary trains without having to have two separate routes going sort of to Nashville and Rockford. Uh, but yeah, we need to put the track in to connect Ventura up to Minneapolis before we can make that work. It would help if I went to the actual station. Uh, so to do that, we'll put in a bit of track here. Now, can we can we build a decent level crossing here? Because I actually need this level crossing for, you know, the road vehicles that I'm using. Uh, let's, let's put that in like that. Okay, so we've got the track in. Now, show me road. Why? Why? Why speed hump? Come on, you're better than this. Try again. There you go, second time, got it. There you go, good. Uh, now I will put a little triangle in here, uh, not not to be actually used, but just because, well, A, it looks cool, and it yeah, will work first go. What's that, 60 Ks now? That's not too bad. Uh, but yeah, A, it looks cool, and B, C, A. I don't really need any justification, I resent you asking. No, just just in case we, we need to sort of swap trains between lines for whatever reason, I'd, I'd like to have them interconnected uh, just as a formality. Uh, if you will. But yeah, so we'll, uh, well, I don't know what I'm trying to build signals for. We now need to get the line to go all the way down the hill into Minneapolis. So we'll swing by both of these uh, these uh, forests over here because we may need to bring them into the network sort of further down the line. Uh, and, you know, having access to more logs probably wouldn't be a bad thing if we're going to start making goods en masse up at, uh, up at Mesquite Factory over there. So having the line pass by these uh, these forests will, will probably benefit us in the long run and if they don't well it doesn't doesn't really hurt to try so we'll bring this line oh that's quite a hill okay maybe maybe we need to back it off and, and sort of take a bigger chunk out of this hill to, to ease the grade that's a bit better that's all right uh, and we do have a bit of a road in the way that's the situation that's not going to fix itself can we okay so that's that's how we it wants to build it what if we if we raise it up I'm thinking we might be able to duck the road down and get a neat little bridge going over the top. So we'll demolish that bit of road there. And we'll get rid of this bit, and I'm just going to pray that I can actually rebuild that intersection properly. Yeah, I can. Good. And we'll drop it down, I'll say, two levels like that. That's Well, that's definitely a hole. We've built a hole. Uh, now, we want to connect this. Which side of the track? Oh, we're, we're single track, so it doesn't matter which side of the track we're on. Uh, let's try and connect that up just down to the nearest track there. That's the nearest track, good. Okay, so you don't like that. What about, nope, nope, nope. Yay, sort of. You've put a column right in the middle of it. No, now you've just taken all the columns away, except for that one. No, definitely not, no. Hey, here we go. Okay, can we live with that? It does seem a bit open at this end for some reason. I don't know why. I mean, this end, it's it's nicely closed off. It all looks finished. This end looks sort of half-assed. You know what? I think that might be the solution. It's 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 definitely green. 
it's it's a bit modern for 1883, but it it sort of works. So I'm gonna how much? What's the hump like? It's actually not much of a hump. Let's let's do it. Okay. Now, how does that look in real life? Not too bad. Can we smooth the road out a bit? That's the next question. Uh, so if we try and yes, there we go. That's a bit better. And I sort of want to smooth this this grade here out as well a bit, please. If if we can, uh, if we can we can make it look a bit more natural, that'd be nice. Uh, we've ended up with some floating track, which is not great, not ideal. So we're just gonna we're gonna risk it all by getting rid of that bridge, and we've kept this tiny bit of the bridge over here. Is that gonna? That's gonna fix it. And suspiciously, everything looks all right. I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. Uh, but that that looks okay. Nothing's well. It's, it's sort of looking a bit funny over here, but we'll smooth the land out a bit. I think that's okay, and we'll smooth it out a bit on this side. Just sort of just sort of make it look a bit more natural, like we didn't just take a big chunk of land out. And I don't hate that. I think that actually looks all right. So we're going to let it stand. Uh, we will need to. No, we don't need because we'll have. Uh, We'll just have the trains turning around here until we complete the loop. So we'll just have one train chortling back and forth from there to there. Uh, which depot are we going to come from? We can sort of come from... We can't come from that one. It's facing the wrong way. Oh, um, what other depots do we have? We've got this one up here facing the wrong way. We've got this one over here, which is, you guessed it, facing the wrong way. Cool. So we've got a, a cool little isolated branch line and no actual way of getting a train on. Oh, but hang on, we put the Y in here. So does that mean we can use that facing the wrong way? I guess that means we can use this depot up here and just have him go around the sun to meet the moon. That might be how we have to do it. Uh, so what is the line currently at Ventura? That's the Eastern Suburbs line. Uh, so what are we gonna call this new one? It, oh, it's dark blue. That's sort of fitting considering we have blue already. Uh, so we'll go from Ventura over to uh, what, Minneapolis. That's that's what that place is called. I, I knew it. And you know to use the right platform? You do. Aren't you a good good egg? Uh, what are we going to call you, though? I don't want to call it Ventura. I was going to call it, you know, Boston City Circle anti-clockwise or clockwise or whatever it ended up being, but... We'll call it uh, the Ventura to Minneapolis link line for now. Uh, we'll come up with a, a more appropriate name once it's actually connected into up around San Bernardino and uh, and Tucson proper. I just don't want to shoehorn too many trains into that line. As train three has reached its lifetime. What about train one and two? I think I scrapped them. Uh, well, we'll build a train for this route and then I'll have a look at train three and see what its problem is. Uh, so again, I, I, I don't think we have any options for, for new trains. We've sort of got access to the general. Uh, no new passenger locos yet, though. So we'll just buy the standard general and four cars, and hopefully he can find his way onto that. Can he? Well, he seems to know where he's going. He is trying to go to Minneapolis first. I'm curious as to what route he wants to take to get there. Uh, I'm almost tempted to sort of just follow him for a while and see where he ends up, but uh, we'll leave the window open and we'll, we'll check back in on him after we've dealt with train three. That's not how I find train three. Well, I could find train three that way, but that's not how I'm going to do it. Wow, we got a lot of road vehicles to renew as well. We should probably get to doing that. Uh, what are you? You are horse carts. Uh, if we could just buy the latest horse cart. Uh, just replace all of them. That's fine. We have the money. Uh, Gainesville City Circle, you should be, yeah, a stagecoach, so we'll just get you to replace with all the later stagecoaches. I really don't have time to dick around with road vehicles. Uh, as much as micromanaging them might be fun, you're a stone and brick route, so you're obviously horse cuts. Uh, yeah, 200 grand, whatever, chump change. Yeah, I, I just don't have time to micromanage road vehicles, so if I might have added some and they're, they're not 15 years old, but no, it doesn't bother me. We'll just, we'll just renew them. Now, where's this train that's getting old? It was train three. Doesn't seem to be old at all. In fact, train one is older. Train one is 29 years old. 
and you're not complaining, although you are looking a bit dirty, we could use a bit of a wash. And your wagons could also use a bit of a wash. Train one, yeah, train three. You are looking a bit dated too, aren't you? Oh gosh, that poor engine is filthy, and the carriage is so run down. Uh, 25, why, why is it saying you're old? Is it, is it the carriages that are, where are you? Where are you even, oh, you're on the Gainesville line. Oh, hello, I haven't even been over here for ages. Gosh, this town's growing nicely, isn't it? Should probably do something in that part of the world soon. Uh, where's a depot? Let's have a look at a depot and see how long everything lives for. So the general is expected to live for 30 years. Well, that explains why they're not showing up as old. What about the passenger? Ah, see, the passenger carriage only has a lifespan of 25 years. That'll do it. Uh, so it's probably time. We may as well replace the loco as well because it is starting to get a bit dated. Uh, so we'll just sort of uh, figure out a replacement vehicle. Probably just go with the general again. And I guess, well, we, there's no point in, you know, breaking a winning strategy. Uh, how are we going with passenger capacity? Via Boston 66. How much does one of you carry? No, on, on the train. You carry 56. Okay, so we might have to move to five five passenger cars uh, for this this train here. I think the general can handle it. And train three, uh, if you could be replaced. 1.46 million. Yeah, I'll spend that. So what will happen is the next time train three, which I've now lost the window for, I think it was over near Gainesville, when he pulls into the platform, we will say goodbye to our tired old relic. He's coming in nice and quickly, isn't he? I'm just going to pause, and we'll, we'll just get a quick screenshot for the for the old thumbnail there. Uh, I sort of don't want them in the thumbnail, so we'll just move them out of the way. There we go. Look, magic is happening. You can watch magic happening. And we'll go, boom. Probably won't even use that, but, you know, we have the option. Uh, and what you will see when I hit unpause, or play as it's more commonly known, he should automatically upgrade to the latest and greatest, which in this case is just a new general, four more carriages, and a brand new fifth carriage. And now he's doing something over here, even though he's not moving. Calm down, buddy. Calm down. It's not time to leave yet. 23 of 70. Well, that extra carriage is clearly required. Uh, you ready to, ready to go soon, champ? Gonna, gonna turn around? Gonna, gonna go? There you go, he's off. Yeah, that's good. And then uh, when the others come due, we will replace them with five carriage trains too to hopefully move a few more people from Tucson to Boston. Uh, now, train one, you're actually coming from the line that's under threat. So I'm not going to replace you, even though you're about a year from life expiry. Yeah, poor tired old thing. Yeah, you might end up just getting scrapped and replaced with a whole new line. So I'm not sure. Now, which way are you trying to go? You're having a lovely time going across the viaduct, aren't you? Good for you. Uh, I'm curious how he's going to get to Minneapolis. I suspect what he's going to do is just chuff all the way down here to Ventura, go around the Y, and then up to Minneapolis and just start his shuttle back and forth there. So, uh, so yeah, but look, I think that'll wrap things up for today. I'm really sorry I couldn't finish the circle. I really wanted to bring the line in through Tucson, Boston, back to San Bernardino again and then have these two lines feeding into a circle around like that. And then later on, uh, make Orange do the same thing up up to Tucson, down to Boston and back. Just to really cement this area as a big passenger transport sort of hub. Uh, but you know what, that's something we'll, we'll hopefully get to next time. I also want to sort of expand this Gainesville line, because I reckon there's a bit of potential down here in Gainesville. I uh, also need to keep an eye on all our freight. We've, uh, we've got a large amount of fuel waiting here for the old oil train. 147. We don't want to ride for ourselves. We might actually start directly shipping fuel into Columbia this way to free up, uh, free up capacity over there for our goods deliveries. But... All that and more to come here in Transport Fever, folks. But until next week, I'd like to thank you again for joining me. Thanks for watching. I've been t -Nick. This has been Transport Fever in our American free game. I'll see you all next week. But until then, later days.